Nice one. Nice one. Whoa! These are so crazy. All these ear Oh, they pulled the hook right out. That was a thump and a half. Oh boy. Oh, that's him. Is that on the jig? No, that's on a uh, dead bait. Dead bait. Mine doesn't feel jolly. There he goes, get him. Oh, there Robin's you go, you got, got one. Load up on that, a girl. Load up on him. There you go. I got top shot. Good job. You got him, honey. What do you have for bait out here? You have a live cobra. No. I got a grouper. You got a grouper. It is, right? Yeah, it's a grouper. I got a nice grouper. All right, Joey. Number one. Let me get it right now. Good job. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Well, he ain't no giant, but we're starting the day off with a nice old gaggle tooth. First bait, first fish. That is pretty sweet right there. I am pumped. Hey, my first catch of the day. There you go. Nice cobia. It's a brown box so far. We got the gag. And now we got a Kobe going in there. Yes. Just dropped down my second bait. I got that grouper on the first one and Robin got that Cobia. Just put a second bait down. We're gonna see if we can find something else. We are switching up spots now. We got that grouper right away. We got that Cobia right away. And then that was the calling for the sharks. We had nonstop shark troubles. We decided to go do some chicken rigging. I'll show you what we got. Big old mess of berms. Vermilions, bee liners, whatever you want to call them. A uh, quick limit of vermilions, and now we're gonna go see if we can plug away at maybe another grouper. That's a keeper sea bass. Sea bass. It's close. They were 13, was it? Oh yeah, you gotta get it to you. After that grouper and Kobe, it slowed down big time, mainly because the sharks. So we uh, switched things up, got a big pile of vermilions. Oh, I thought it was and now, oh, there he is. We had to bust out the little rod again. You saw the recent video, you know what I'm probably targeting here, but I think I got the right one hooked up. Little rod, little micro jig. I tell you, I will probably be bringing the micro jigs with me every time because it seems like absolutely everything eats them. Oh, he's going back. Oh, no. Mine's close. Nice sea bass. Stud. Oh, sinker. Another sea bass. Something grabbed my weight on the way up. Did it? Yeah. Uh oh. Sea bass. So you got you had a shark, probably on yours, or maybe a king ate the lead. Small. Oh come on, this feels like the right one. Oh right. All right, let me get. We gotta bring you up again. Oh yes. Oh That's nice. The one we've been the right one. There we go. Look at that guy. Nice. That's the one we want right there on the zombie eye jig. God, the colors on these things are so crazy. All these ear to, oh, I pulled the hook right out. Looking good. <laughs> Going back down, back down, almost there. That's there. Just a couple little jigs. Oh. oh, another big sea bass. Yes, it is a good one. Another oh, sea bass. This is so cool. Fishing. Time machine fishing, right? No, I lost him. Oh. <laughs> I pulled the hook. Oh. That was a nice one, Joey. That was, that was that, a good one. He was nice pulling drag. He felt yeah. good. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah. Got another one. Feels okay. Feels sea bass. Not like a giant though. There you go, honey. It really felt more like a red snapper, but. This one feels like a red snapper. That's a good, snapper. feels like a red snapper. 
Let's you know. see what we got. Let's see what we got. On the micro jig. On the micro jig. Yep, I got the baby. Baby red. Red baby snapper. Baby red on the micro jig. It is. It's a different kind of sea bass. I've always called them white sea bass. I don't know if anyone on here knows the correct name, but a little different than the ones we've been catching. Super pretty though. We'll let him go. Time to try something different. The sea bass fishing was okay, it was fun, but they were mostly small. So we're switching it up, changing gears over to some mangrove snapper. Now these aren't your little river mangrove snapper. We're looking for big offshore. We're going bottom fishing for mangroves, fishing chunk baits, live baits, sardines, pilchers, whatever we got. And I got my 6,000 Tsunami Salt X. I'm gonna get it set up and we're gonna go ahead and get, in this, get into this. Now, that's my chunk right there. He's swimming towards it. size of this thing. Nice job, Joey. <laughs> and you didn't want to come here, honey. Wait until you see That's this thing. That's a nice fish, Joey. That is one Good nice fish. Well into the double digits. Solid mangrove on the 6,000 Tsunami Salt X with the all new Tsunami Carbon Shield 2 Blue Water Series though. And it's got the butt needed to land one of these. <laughs> Circle hook got him right in the corner. Nice job. Nice that is a chunky one. That is a toad of a mangrove. <laughs> that is an absolute giant mangrove. All right. We got something else on the flat line. Oh. I thought it was gonna be a snapper, but it took off flying. I'd love to see a big Kobe. I know, it'd be cool. Yeah. Could be a snapper still, though. It could be, could a, snapper, be a snapper. Could be a snapper. Could be a snapper. Breaks off, we'll call it a kingfish. Yeah. Here, honey, take this rod. It's covering a lot of ground horizontally, which makes me think right? that it's not a snapper. It's not just digging down. Oh. Got it, right? Oh, yeah. It's a really bad. Here's the net. Here's the net. The big net, a little bit. It's not a Kobe, it's white, whatever it is. Yeah, no, bring me the gas, honey. Here. You want the gas? Don't touch the gas. Don't touch the gas. I don't even know where the gas is. King. You want, you want, you want it? Yeah, yeah. It's right there, honey. No, the other one, the other one. Look at that king. Nice, nice, nice. There he goes. Oh, nice release. All right. that, that's Be gone. Nice that's what's going to happen with that wire. Was that one that we just had? Look at them all right here. Try to stay in line with the chum. Like out there, you're going to be missing out a lot further than it. Okay, okay. Like they're so high up right there. Okay, right here. Get him, Joey. Got him. Oh, 
was already on. I got a littler guy. Net? No, I don't need the net. It's still a nice mangrove, though. Nice mangrove. Better believe it. Look at them. They're all trying to spawn on it. Nice. That's a nice fish, Joey. Maybe we'll just grab the net. That's a nice fish. Nothing wrong with that. That is a good one. Yeah, he's yeah. hooked right in the lip. Yeah, hold it. Coming to you. Oh, oh honey, you have the opportunity. There we go. Here. We got him. Yay! Oh, uh, he wasn't coming off, though. Oh, and that's normally considered That seems a like a little one. <laughs> Those are absolute giant mangroves. Oh, my God. Look at that. Let's see a let's see a measurement on that mangrove. So here's the results of the mangrove fishing. We got to check the size on this big one. That is roughly a 28 inch mangrove, 27. Pinch the tail, probably 28 actually. So I got his tail pinched. And it's right to that 28 mark. That is a giant mangrove. That is going to finish off the day. The mangrove action was good. Shark showed up and kind of turned that off for us. But we have a cooler full of big old juicy fish. Mangroves. There's that stud. That's probably about an 11 or 12 pounder. I think it was like 28 inches. Nice gag. Cobia, AJ's, Almaco, King, and a basket with a v, uh, B liner limit. A couple triggers, a couple sea bass. That is looking good, but you know what? We got that coming, so we gotta go. Oh, there's some lightning. Yeah, yeah.